Okay, I wanted to show you the setup here. I'm using a program called Synergy, and what that lets you do is use one keyboard and one mouse on two computers with two separate monitors. So there's something called a KVM switch, keyboard video monitor switch, that lets you use uh, the same monitor, same keyboard, and mouse for two different computers that are hooked up to the same monitor. And you just push the button and it toggles between the two. That's not what this is. This is keyboard and mouse, two separate computers, two separate monitors. And so what it does is, as you can see here, I'm moving around the screen. I move the mouse over here and I'll move a screen around here. Okay. There's no wires. This is all through, well, through the network. And there really is no delay. So I can switch back and forth um, between both computers with ease. Um, as far as typing goes, I'll go ahead and bring up YouTube. It types and replies just as fast as if it's connected directly to. This is the server computer and this is the client. Now this is um, a program called Synergy. They're working on making it a functioning app uh, for Mavericks. It works for Mavericks, but there's a little bit of a workaround. So I'll take you through that. Um, just so you know how to use it. Now, if the client side works uh, without any extra setup. However, the server setup does take some extra work. So what you want to do, first thing is uh, pull up your system preferences. When you pull up your system preferences, I'll go ahead and uh, zoom in here. You want to go to security and privacy. And then under accessibility, right there, you want to uh, add the terminal and the way you do that is you have to unlock it by just clicking on this little thing you have to enter your password and then you go to your applications folder I've got mine down here and you drag and drop drag and drop you drag and drop the terminal application which is right here into this window here that lets it have access um, because you can mess things up or, or mess up your computer but since this is what we're doing we're not messing anything up just want to make that clear then you launch terminal and you have to launch the Synergy application normally when you launch an application on a Mac you just double click it and it will launch but whatever the problem is with Mavericks and this software, you have to um, launch it through the terminal. This is like looking under the hood of the car. You're seeing just the text. So here you, I'll put the code in the description below, slash application, slash synergy app, slash contents, slash Mac OS, slash synergy. Now you want to make sure that when you download the app, which is this here, you drag and drop it into your applications folder because that's where you're telling it to look right here. Once you do that, it will pull up something that looks like this. On my computer, I'm using my local IP address as the server, and then as the client, you use um, the client IP address. Um, so when you launch the client, software you just type in what the server IP is um, on the screen. If that makes sense, I hope it does. And then you click start on both computers and you are in business. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I tried using uh, the names of the local network which would be uh, Andrews uh, Mac Mini dash local or whatever it was didn't work, it, but it worked when I used the IP addresses. And so now I can use the um, computer, and here's the other cool thing. So it lets you use a keyboard and mouse, but it also allows you to copy and paste uh, clipboard data. And there's apparently also drag and drop, so we'll try that with this ugly ad. Um, be able to do a picture here. I don't even know what this is, but 
Okay, apparently the drag and drop doesn't work or I don't know how to use it, but I just wanted to show you how to connect two computers with one keyboard and mouse and it's going to save me time and it looks a lot nicer. So, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and have a nice day.